Let's see how many brain cells you get, princess. Oh my. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Two identical twins will never have the same fingerprint. You're five. How do you know that? Well, my queen, she, she what? How is she so smart? That's because I have more brain cells than the average human. She has more brain cells than me. This can't be. Your body language and tone of voice indicates that you're coming up with an evil plan. Stepdaughter, don't be silly. <laughs> For the last time, it's not poisoned. Well, your body language does show that you're not lying. So, okay, stepmother, I'll try some. <gasps> yes, my potion worked. I said it wouldn't poison you, but I never said anything about it making you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I go potty now. Wait, no, no, no! <sighs> oh, oh, my new shoes! That's it, princess. Just have your special drink. <laughs> Princess, hey, I'm uh, I'm Prince Derek, and I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date with me. I know you don't have a lot of brain cells, but... Ow. Hey, are you good? Help. What's going on? My brain, it's... The potion is wearing off. Excuse us, Prince Derek, it's the princess's nap time. Hurry up and drink the potion. <clears throat> I mean, drink your drink. There you go, it's going to make you feel so much better. Yes, she's back to being dumb. <laughs> sleep, sleep, dream, dream, eat, eat, barf. Your Majesty, the people of the kingdom are concerned about the princess. Oh, really? They think she's unfit to be queen with such little brain cells. Well, I must say I agree. Potato. She could never be queen. <laughs> Dingly dangly. How could she have lost almost all her brain cells? Life is full of mysteries. Now follow me. We have important business to attend to. Princess. Oh, I know I'm kind of breaking in, but don't be scared. Huh? I climbed all the way up here because I want to help you. No one deserves to have such little brain cells. Earlier, it seemed like you were trying to tell me something. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, please stop. That tickles. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to try and find you a potion that can make you smarter. Okay, so I'm going to climb back down your tower now. And he was a fairy. Wait, what? No, no, no! Uh, uh, uh. Ah. I think I just pushed Prince Derek out the window. <gasps> Prince Derek? He's alive! He landed on a giant pile of pillows, but what are a giant pile of pillows doing outside my castle? Your Majesty, the hundred thousand pillows you ordered have arrived. Excellent! Figures. Uh, what happened? Oh, he's waking up. I am so sorry. Listen, I'm gonna think of a way to save you. I just need more of my brain cells to come back. Come on, think. I think I have an idea. Come on. Oh, almost there. Oh, I'm up. Nice thinking using the sheets. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd say I'm doing pretty good for someone who just got pushed out of tower. <laughs> Listen, I am so sorry. This is what I was trying to tell you, the queen. She's been giving me a potion that's been taking away my brain cells. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realized you're talking normal now. Has she been doing this to you for years? There he is, he's in here, gods. Take him away. Ugh. He is the prince from the rival kingdom and he was trying to poison the princess. No, stop. Wait, the queen is lying. Don't listen to the princess. Remember, she only has 10 brain no, cells. No, I'm smart now. My brain cells are coming back. Silence. I... That's enough. Take this. You're going to drink that potion right now or I will have the prince killed. No. Drink it or the prince dies. Good girl. Wait a minute, you little fake. Drink it for real. I can see your brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. After all these years, the potion is starting to lose its power. It's wearing off much too quickly, and we can't have that happening, so I'm going to have to, um, get rid of you. Me go bye-bye? Yes, I can't have you becoming queen. No, no, don't cry. Here, take this. Ah. Can't have you alerting the guards now. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Come here. Don't leave this room. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to think of a way to make the prince and your death look like an accident. Hello. Me, see cute, cute prince. Princess, you're not supposed to be down here. And the prince isn't allowed any visitors, but... But go ahead, just be real quick, because the queen doesn't want you seeing him in the dungeon. Sublime. Uh, you're welcome. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. <gasps> Princess! No, she gave you the potion. Hey, princey, look. Dingly dingly. The key? Where did you get that? Me see big guard sleeping and shiny thing. So me takey. <laughs> okay, well hurry, unlock my cell door and then... Sorry. Use shiny thing to free Prince. Oh! <laughs> Good. Now throw me the key so I can unlock these chains. KK. Hey, you two aren't allowed to be... <gasps> oh, 
Sorry, what was that? Couldn't quite hear you. Muscular Riz. Me likey. Come on, we have to get to... <sighs> Princess! Brain cells, all of them. Coming back fast. Hey, you got this. The faster your brain cells come back, the faster you can outsmart the queen, alright? Oh, no! Outsmart me? I don't think so. Stop! You can't do this! It's against... <sighs> I don't understand. I'm the princess. You're not supposed to be doing this. Why are you guys listening to her? They're under an obedience spell, dear. They'll do whatever I say. Surprised you didn't figure that out with all those brain cells of yours. Here, drink this. And this time, it's not a potion. I got my mark. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? It's blue. Blue? But what is- You blue? have to cover that up. <laughs> but what is it- Cover it up. Okay, okay, jeez. Do you think this is good enough? I can still kind of see it. Nah, you're good. No one's going to notice. Okay. Oh my gosh, did you hear? Some people are getting blue marks. Blue? Ugh, oof, so weird. Um, excuse me? Blue is royalty. Say what now? You didn't know that? Well, I kind of feel sorry for the blue mark people. Wait, why? Well, apparently the guy and the girl have some sort of arranged marriage. <sighs> that is not fair. Oop, it's time for the mark check. Better hope yours appears soon, because here they come. Uh... Who's they? Who are those guys? Uh, those are the mark checkers. What? Didn't you read the pamphlet? <sighs> there was a pamphlet? Max, Michaela Brown. That's me. No, 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 wait! I can't let this happen. If they find out that I have a blue mark, they're gonna force me into some sort of arranged marriage. And what if the guy's a jerk? I gotta get out of here. Crap, the freaking makeup's melting off. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you out here? Hi, um, I was just going over there because they told me that I'm all clear to go. Who told you that? Um, that was Frank. Frank told me that. There's no one named Frank that works here. Damn it, I knew I should have went with John. She's a blue. Get her. Hey! You really thought you could cover up your mark with makeup? Well, actually, it was my friend's idea, but... Quiet. That was a rhetorical question. Now, we're going to have to do something so you don't escape again. What is that thing? What is that thing? This is a microchip implant. Hmm? It's only gonna take a second. Oh no, I'm not good with needles, so... You'll be fine. Hold her arm down. No, please. <sighs> there you go, see? All done. You just injected me with... The... Don't tell me she's gonna pass out. Oh, come on. It's time to get up. We need to get you ready for the prince. What? Yes, he's here, and you can't meet him looking like that. Says who? Says anyone with eyes. Now get up. Come on, let's go. All right, she's all done. Good. You know, for someone with a royal status, you guys sure do treat me like crap. Says the girl wearing a diamond necklace. Besides, you're not royalty just yet. Yeah, so if I were you, I would lose the little attitude, okay? Because your mark doesn't become effective till the prince falls in love with you. And what if he doesn't? Hmm, I don't know if I should tell you. We're gonna go get the prince, so you better stay put. <laughs> what? No, it's just, it's kind of funny. It's not like I can really get away, because, you know, there's a tracker in my wrist. I bet this guy is so stuck up and so conceited. I mean, how dare they, really? Pair me with some super hot guy. Hi, <laughs> I'm Justine. You're not quite what I was expecting. Oh, well, um, you aren't exactly what I was expecting either, but you know, in a good way. <laughs> yeah, same. You know, this whole system is pretty messed up. I know. Tell me about it, right? I mean, do they put a tracker in your wrist too? Yep, they did. But I have a plan to escape these guys and get both of us our freedom. Hmm, you do. Well, okay. I'm listening. Guys, I have fallen in love with her. Yeah, we're ready to get married. We just have a few minor requests about the wedding. Oh my gosh, of course, princess. Whatever you want. We thought you might say that. How did you get them to leave us alone? I told them I had a little surprise for you. But why would they need to leave us for... Oh, that kind of surprise. <laughs> it's time to take your track route, so hold still. Fine, but from a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is it going to... Are you okay? We thought we heard screaming. Yeah, I'm fine. Things were just getting a little rough in here. Oh, <laughs> well, your wedding is ready. Okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wait, I, I have a confession to make. I'm, I'm pregnant. And he's not the father. 
What? I can't believe this. Well, it's too late. We're already married now, which makes me the princess, and what I say goes. And right now, I order all of you to leave us alone. You heard her, guys. Everyone out. I order all of you to leave us alone. You heard her, guys. Everyone out. I can't believe that worked. You did great. Now we just gotta blend in with the crowd. Okay, and then what do we do after that? Then we get the hell out of here, and we enjoy our freedom. Come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Just... What? Well, answer you now. You're under arrest. You really shouldn't have lied to us. I don't understand. They found out my plan, Justine. It was either me going to prison or you. Mm-hmm. And guess who we chose? I'm sorry. Get on your knees. We need to take you for work. Where are we going? We're taking you to stay with the other reject princesses. Other princesses? Yeah. You're not the only one the princess screwed over. Now come on. Let's go. Girls, look. Fresh meat. <laughs> Keep walking. Please don't leave me in here. It's not fair. Why does the prince get to go free? He was the one who planned this whole thing. We made a deal with the prince. What can I say? Life isn't fair. Hello. Let me tell you the truth about the prince. So you're telling me the prince has been doing this for years? Yes, they let him trick innocent girls like us. Just for fun. But why would they do that? Because they want to stay in power. The whole blue mark is a lie. But why? Because they do not care about us. They are wicked. Why don't we give the new girl a haircut? No, please wait. What if I told you I could help you get revenge on the prince? We've already tried that. There's no way out of here. Well, how did you get those scissors? I found them on the floor when they took me out to use the restroom. They let you out to use the bathroom? Yeah, but they have a guard come with you. I barely snuck these in. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. You sure they don't know you have those scissors? Duh, otherwise they'd try and take them away. Well then, which one of you guys is the most violent? Definitely Greta. I have lots of pent-up anger for the prince. Greta, I think it's time you release that anger. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, I need to go too. No, one person at a time. Oh, but please, I really need to go. Get back. I said what? <laughs> that was for locking me in this hellhole. Oh, shit. We gotta get out of here now. We made it. We're free. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, speak of the devil. Greta, do you still have those scissors? I have them right here. Good. You know what to do. What are you talking about? I would start running if I were you. W wait, wait a minute. Ladies, let's get out.